Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this lesson we're going to be talking about singular and plural regular nouns. Alright, so we want to match the nouns with the pictures. So we have the first sentence, these are flowers, that would be picture A. This is a banana, that would be picture D. These are buses, picture B. And this is a city, picture C. All right, so singular and plural. Singular means one, so one apple, one flower. Plural means more than one, so we have two apples, two flowers. So for most nouns in English, you add an S to the singular noun to make the plural form. So table plus S equals tables. So what's the plural of these nouns? So train would become trains. Plane, planes. Orange, oranges. Window, windows. Bed, beds. Plate, plates. Boat, boats. Chair, chairs. Elephant, elephants. Car, cars, cat, cats, building, buildings. All right, and then there's some other rules. Uh, for some nouns, we have to add an ES. So if a noun ends in S, SH, CH, or X, we have to add an ES. So bus, because it, it ends in an S, we have add an ES to make the plural, and it's pronounced buses. Box ends in an X, so we add an EX, ES, sorry, ES to make the plural, and it becomes boxes. Brush, this is an example of an SH noun. So to make it plural, we add the ES, and it becomes brushes and church ends in ch, so we add the es to make it plural, and it becomes churches. All right, so what is the plural of these nouns? So take a moment, you can do those on your own, and then restart when you're ready to hear the answers. So book, the plural is books, just add the S. Bike, the plural is bikes, again, we just add an S. Fox, well fox ends in an X, so it has to become boxes with the ES. Okay, address, well address ends in SS, so we have to add an ES, so the plural is addresses. Umbrella, the plural is umbrellas. And sandwich ends in a CH, so it becomes <coughs> sandwiches. All right, here are a few more. Again, you can pause the video, try these on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. So toolbox, so ends in an X, so we have to add an ES, so it's toolboxes. Radish ends with an SH, so it becomes radishes. And peach 
ends in ch, so it would be peaches. Okay, next we have which, which ends in a ch, so that becomes witches. Letter E, we just need to add an S, doors. And for letter F, we just need to add an S, maps. All right, then if you have a noun that ends in O, uh, some of these nouns come for other languages. And so we also add an ES for the plural form uh, for nouns that end in O. So potato becomes potatoes with an ES. Tomato is tomatoes with an ES. And hero is heroes with an ES. Um, and then there are some exceptions though to that rule where uh, some nouns ending in O just take uh, an S. And you'll just need to memorize um, these so zoo, uh, we just add an S, zoos. The same with avocado, we would just add an S. Mango is one that can go either way. You can add either an S or an ES, and both are correct. All right, so you're going to choose a noun for each sentence and make it plural. So you can pause the video, try that on your own, and then restart when you're ready to see the answers. All right, here are the answers. There are four heroes in the new adventure film. People in India love to eat mangoes. And french fries and hot chips are made from deep fried potatoes. All right, again, what is the plural of these nouns? So A would be clouds, then S. B would be trees, with an S. C would be bushes, because of the SH there at the end, we have to add an ES. Okay, so D would be students, just adding an S. So here we have box that ends in an X, so it's going to be an ES at the end, so boxes. And dish ends in an SH, so it becomes dishes. All right, same thing with these, make them plural. So A would be buses, because of the S, we add ES. Addresses. And potatoes with an ES, potatoes. Here we have ships with an S. Church ends in a CH, so it becomes churches. And flower is just simply adding an S, flowers. Okay, so it says use the singular or the plural before, uh, below. There are a lot of books in these boxes. And these people are waiting for A. Remember when it's A, we use the singular because A means one, A bus. There are many, so many means more than one. So here we would have to use the plural, which is churches. And you need three, so here they're telling us it's more than one. So we need the plural, which is potatoes. 
to make this soup. This garden has a lot of, and again, a lot of would mean more than one, so it would be bushes. Again, because of the SH, we add ES. And you need an, and remember, an means one, an umbrella when it rains. An electrician carries a, and again, a means one, toolbox. And look at these. So these, remember, is more than one. And so we would say beautiful stained glass windows. All right, so now we're going to match the nouns with the picture. So picture A would be a baby. Picture B would be a dictionary. Picture C would be a boy. And picture D is a monkey. All right, now we're going to talk about uh, nouns that end in Y. So if a noun ends in AY, OY, or EY, we just add an S to make it plural. So holiday becomes holidays. Boy is boys and monkey, monkeys. So the monkeys are eating bananas. We have a lot of holidays this year and the boys are fighting. So for other nouns ending in Y, we remove the Y and add I-E-S. So baby becomes babies, I-E-S. Party is parties. Butterfly, butterflies. And lady, ladies. Okay, so try to make the plural forms of these nouns. So one butterfly, two butterflies, one dictionary, a lot of dictionaries. So again, because we don't, we have a consonant plus the Y, so we change the Y to an I and add ES. A lady, some ladies, IES, a day, seven days, D-A-Y-S, because we have a vowel before the Y, so that's why we just add the S. And monkey would be three monkeys. All right, so now you want to use the plural <laughs> form of a noun in these sentences. So go ahead and try those on your own and restart the video when you're ready to check. All right, so Matthew has three English books. Ben and Fiona have two bikes. There are seven days in a week. And the ladies, L-A-D-I-E-S, are talking. All right, so can you remember the plural of each of these? So babies, dictionaries, pota potatoes, oops, Churches, buses, and mangoes. Now remember, mangoes is one that can go either way, either with just an S or an ES. Right. 
So let's match the nouns with a picture. Okay, so picture A, this is a knife. Picture B, these are Japanese knives. Picture C, this is a shelf. And picture D, these are book shelves. All right, so now we have some nouns that end in either F or FE. And so for these nouns, we remove F or FE and add VES. So knife becomes knives, shelf becomes shelves, and leaf becomes leaves. Okay, and now we have some other plurals. So baby cows are called calves. Calves, and the L is sort of silent, so calves. And horses, donkeys, and goats have hooves. Again, you take off the F and add V-E-S. There are a lot of book shelves in the library. In autumn, the leaves fall off the trees. All right, so here's just a review of the different rules for how to make plural nouns. So you want to memorize the rules on this slide. So for most nouns, you're just going to add an S. If a noun ends in an S, SH, CH, or X, you add ES. If it ends in a Y, you change the Y to an I and add ES. But if it ends in AY, OY, or EY, then you just add an S. F or FE, you drop the ending and add VES. And some nouns end to get O, you add an ES. All right, so can you remember the plurals of each of these? You can pause the video, try that on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. Okay, so A, the plural would be knives. B, toolboxes. C, dishes. D, apples. E, tomatoes, and F, mangoes or mangoes. All right, so now use the correct spelling and form of the um, nouns that you see uh, in green. You can, again, pause the video, try these on your own, and then restart when you're ready to see the answers. So here we would say the leaves on the tree were green. To make the soup, you need four onions, three tomatoes, and three potatoes. Many buses go past my house every day. I'm going to buy some flowers. All of my friends are students. And there are four weeks in a month. All right, now you're going to check to see if these sentences are correct or incorrect. So go ahead, pause the video, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. All right, here are the answers. It is raining today, so I have my umbrella. That one is correct. There are many big cities in Asia, so cities should be spelled. <coughs> oh, excuse me. C-I-T-I-E-S. -I -E 
I usually eat two sandwiches for lunch. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. So sandwiches, S-A-N-D-W-I-C-H-E-S. He brought five knives, should be knives, for the kitchen. So K-N-I-V-E-S. And there are a lot of churches in London. Churches is correct. All right, so what is the plural of these nouns? Let's see if you can name them. So we have buses, houses, shelves, boys, churches, students, weeks, ladies, cars, monkeys, leaves, boxes, brushes, butterflies, and parties. All right, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please those leave those in the comments for me. And um, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you'll join us next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.